Excuse me. Hi everyone, welcome back. It's a get ready with me video. And today we're going to be playing with some Victoria Beckham products. And I have put on this lovely nail polish. It's actually called Bamboo White by Nails Inc. Isn't that gorgeous? Well, we can't hang out with Tab and not talk about nail polish. So in the last three weeks, I've worn three different nail polishes, which is more nail polish than I've worn in the last six months. So now the obsession has begun. So as we get started today, I wanted to share a story with you about some people that I met in this last week that really fascinated me. But before I do that, let me tell you the first thing that I'm going to use is this moisturizing cream by Victoria Beckham. The packaging is fantastic. I've been playing with this for about three weeks and I almost didn't give it back because it's so awesome. So it's actually a glow cream and it's a moisturizer. So I'm going to go ahead and not look in the camera. I'm going to look at you because, I mean, where else is my face going to go? It's not like I'm putting on lipstick, although I don't use mirrors for that either. So as you can see, it makes me look glowy which is fine with me because I'm all about that life anyway. I'm going to play with a new product for me. It's actually called the Este Edit. It's a pore vanishing stick. Now I've been noticing that lately my skin's been kind of doing something different. So I'm going to check this product out and use it right where I've been noticing more pores in my skin, which is right here. And how about here? I don't know about you, but if your skin is oilier, the pores kind of pop out in these key areas because there's more um, sebum that gets produced in those areas for oil. I like it. And it, like I say, every single time, I absolutely love skincare. So I am a big fan of this moisturizing cream that I just put on by Victoria Beckham with Estee Lauder. It's absolutely stunning. It does give a beautiful glow. What we're going to do today is I'm going to be trying a product. Estee Lauder's Double Wear Nude Custom Stick radiance foundation. I got a little bit of it to try. I guessed it was nighttime, so you and me were going on a foundation matching journey. I might have a foundation crisis with Tab after this video. We'll just see how that goes. So let's give this a shot. Not too bad. Hmm. It's pretty. I did notice that um, this is kind of a middle of the road coverage, which is kind of my jam if you guys are all about the full coverage life. Apparently double wear is the way to go. So this last week I um, had coffee, actually I had tea technically, with a gal that I met at Fame Expo. Her name is Meredith and we just happened to really click over a foundation crisis. And so we met last week for coffee. And it was really awesome to spend some time with another person who has, who loves makeup but doesn't just love makeup but loves people and the ability to touch people's lives and makeup happens to be the vehicle. So I had a really good time with her. And after we were done, there was a woman there who was probably in her 60s and she was journaling and she had like her glue stick and she had her um, pictures and cutouts from magazines, fashion pictures, and she had colored pencils and all kinds of stuff. And I was just super fascinated with her. So when I stood up and saw that she was being super creative, I was like, oh my gosh, I love your journal. That is so cool. And she's like the kind of person where I was like, I would love to spend time with her. So I walked Meredith out. And then as I got further from the door, I became more and more convinced that I needed to go back into the building and spend some time with this woman to get to know her. I went back in and I said, I'm back. And she moved her stuff and I sat with her and she began to tell me her story. She introduced herself as Bertie. And I thought, oh, I love that name. It totally fit her. She had like graying hair and two braids. She had this great style and a great open personality. And I just thought she's someone I want to be friends with. And so she told me her last name and she said, that's not even who I am anymore. And I always thought that the Jetsons were cool. So, and I want to be a writer. So I decided that my name for being a writer would be Birdie Jetson. And I thought, that is just like the coolest name ever. And it totally suited her. I'm really looking forward to having a relationship with her as time goes on. Because I just thought she was one of the most fantastic people that I've come across. And I'm glad that I went back. So if you ever find someone that just really fascinates you, go back and talk to them. Even if it's only 15 minutes, you just never know who's out there that's meant to cross your path. So I'll get off of my inspirational soapbox, but I just loved her. She was fantastic. So, so far I've put on my double wear nude custom stick radiance foundation. True confessions. I tried it on at night. Hopefully it's the right color. If not, have someone help you. So this is what I did. I liked it and I did put a little bit of a, I'm going to put a matte concealer on, which is also owned by Estee Lauder. Let's look at this loveliness. Welcome to iPalette. 
So this eye palette has some beautiful colors. This is a really stunning blue. I think I'll put it on tab. Because I don't wear blue. It's just not my jam. So what we're going to do with this today is, and by the way, have you noticed I'm using the compact? This mirror is fantastic. It's like the perfect size. And this compact is super sturdy. And wait till you see the highlighter. <clears throat> so pretty. I've been wearing that for two weeks. As a matter of fact, someone told me that my highlight was on point the other day. And it was a Victoria Beckham highlight. So, boom. Hashtag winning. So, I think what I'm going to do today is a more neutral palette. And I'm going to use the green. Because I want you to know that color should not be intimidating. Well, I want to talk about how you can actually wear it. So let's do a little bit of this lighter color. Now one of my habits as a human is to try new recipes on people that I've never tried before. And I'm doing that with makeup as well. Because I think it's kind of nice. If you kind of know what you like and how you like to wear things, you don't have to have worn it 50 times. But I do know that the quality of the product is something I like. So the color is just a, a matter of uh, preference. So these products are actually are really nice. They don't fall out. They actually go on nice and smooth. It's a pretty kind of um, kind of a buttery gold. It doesn't have a lot of yellow in it. So it's actually a little softer. Can you see? I'm gonna go ahead and dust that up a little bit. Remember we had that discussion about, um, I just, about how women shouldn't wear shimmer past a certain age. I'm gonna jump on that soapbox and say, it doesn't matter. Wear what you want. I never signed a contract that said I was going to look 20 for the rest of my life and I never promised I wouldn't wear shimmer. As a matter of fact, I started wearing glitter probably after 35. Like legitimately never thought about it. But once I realized how much I love glitter, then I would wear it because why not? If it makes you happy, it's just makeup. So that's my soapbox. I'm actually going to try this as a transition color. And this is Metal Saffron. Oh, look at that. This is the fun of, of using a product you've never tried before. You have no idea how it's going to turn out. When I do Tav's makeup, for example, he has less eye space than I do. I have a ton of eye space. So where I put my crease color is going to be a little different than where I put his crease color. He has a more balanced eyelid than I do. His upper lid and lower lid are about the same size. I have to be honest that I don't wear a lot of browns. It's kind of a bias of mine. But I thought that these golds, golds are really great if you have blue or green eyes because it really pops them. It's really pretty. Yeah, you like it? I like it. Now, now let's go ahead and I'm going to work with the burnished sage. I'm going to take my flat brush, I'm going to put it in the corners of my eyes, kind of as my crease color, if you will, or my contour color. Now I find that having a nice burnished sage color like this is actually really nice. My eyes are kind of a blue, gray, green, and a true, true um, shade, if you will. The green kind of makes the rim of my eye darker which is kind of nice. It gives me a more intense green eye. But like I said, my eyes are kind of nondescript. So I like to take a flat brush and put the shape down. Can you see that? I'm going to go back to my crease brush and knock some of that color off. Take that green, a little bit extra on the brush, and just dust. A lot of women get discouraged or intimidated by the blending process. If you have a really nice blending brush, a soft dome like this one, it's like a magic wand. It just does the work for you. You don't need a lot of product. What you need to do is keep it in contact with your skin. And think in terms of sweeping motions, dusting, whatever term makes sense to you. Because what it does is it blows the color out. Now, I like to go sideways like this. Because, as you know, I say it every time. I like to have a blown out look over one that's really harsh. But there's a time and a place for a nice edge. And um, in one of the videos we did, I really did a really strong edge and I just loved it. But that was for that specific look. But for a daily, it's nice. This is a beautiful everyday look. And if you look, my eyes actually look deeper green. And what's interesting, I'm just realizing as I'm looking at these colors that I think it was my junior year in high school, I'd cut my hair really, really short and we had pictures in the park for cheerleading and I actually wore this color palette. That was a little while ago. It's nice, I like it. I'm gonna take my same flat brush Pardon me for being rude, but my, you know, I'm not, I need to, I feel like I need to be right up on top of the mirror to make myself see properly. Let's take the green and put it underneath. What do you think? Mm, that's pretty. The nice thing about makeup is it should be an adventure. It's nice to have your standard. It's nice to think that you do all the time, but it's also nice to kind of step out of your box and try something a little bit different. So I would encourage you to give it a shot. Give yourself a chance to try something that 
you would look at and say, that is so not me. Now, to be fair, I have been in makeup over 30 years, so when I say that blue is beautiful, but I'll never wear it, um, I have worn blue, and it actually does look nice. Have you ever worn something and you look in the mirror and you're just like, huh, I don't know how I feel about that. That's me in blue. So I literally gave away almost every single blue eyeshadow I had. You don't have to wear every color, but if you like a color and you're afraid to wear it, give it a shot. Like do what I'm doing underneath here where you take a little bit of the color and you pop it underneath. I'm super fascinated with this kind of reddish color here. The name of that is actually Black Nutmeg and it is stunning. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to spray my eyeliner brush and I'm going to try it as an eyeliner. That's another thing I think a lot of women, if you happen to be in my age group and you're watching, one of the things you can do is take an eyeshadow and use it as an eyeliner. You don't have to use a pencil if that's intimidating or if you feel it's too harsh or whatever it is that your mind is thinking about makeup, um, you can actually dampen an angled brush and then go back in with a powder. Just give yourself a nice soft edge. Oh, that's nice and cool. This is, this is so funny. This is like legitimately my junior year of high school truly picture makeup. Look at me. Blast from the 80s past right here. But it doesn't look like 80s makeup, which is really nice. I have to tell you, one of the things I love about my high school senior picture is, ironically, I didn't actually wear a lot of makeup in high school. I would wear it for picture day, but every day I would wear my lip balm, my bronzer, and my mascara. That was literally my, my face every single day. So for my senior picture, that's all I wore. And so I went back to my reunion and our name tags were like our senior picture. Thank the Lord that I did not do what everybody else did. And see my hair, how curly it is? I'm going to bring you, maybe, maybe, maybe if, if, if I'm feeling generous, I will bring a junior high picture to pop in because my hair started curling in junior high, but when it started curling, it was kind of like on the other side. So one side was curlier than the other. So I actually already have mascara on, so I'm actually pretty close to done. I have um, a clean brush. I'm just gonna buff this green down a little bit. I have been living in this highlighter. It has been so beautiful. Tab has been generous to uh, send it home with me. I've been babysitting it for about three weeks. And this highlighter is absolutely stunning. It's rose gold. And even though I'm fair, it's actually a really nice shade on me. So I have a big fat brush that I use for highlighter. It's such a pretty highlighter. Look at that. Oh, that is so pretty. As you know, Tab and I very rarely meet a highlighter we don't love. So truth be told, it's kind of redundant all over again for me to say I like a highlighter. I do like to run it across my brow bones because again, I've got so much space up there, I might as well put something there. Now, as you can see, my skin has a nice glow to it. The double wear foundation that I'm wearing is a new one. It kind of comes with a sponge on it and it's a little bit lighter than the liquid in the bottle. And so it's a really nice coverage. The Victoria Beckham shadows, they don't fall, which I absolutely adore. And they go on really well. Again, this is my junior year of high school cheerleading look. Thank you very much. Except for the bronzer um, that was orange. We're gonna replay that with this gorgeous Estee Lauder blush. Oh, it's called Naughty. We're gonna wear a Naughty blush today. So if you wanted to know, this is what Naughty looks like. So when you're bad, you look this color. All right, fair folks. It's a lot of color. So I put my highlighter down first. That gives me a little bit of a base. Woo! <laughs> we're playing with color. All right, let's do this. Let's just leave it like that because we are talking about the 80s and it matches my shirt. So this, this blush is quite bright, so I'm buffing it. And one of the things I actually like to do is just, it's the same thing as my eyeshadow. I'm probably redundant all over again. I think that blending and buffing is the key, um, at least for me. So I'm going to grab a little bit more of this gorgeous rose gold highlighter. I love this highlighter. Like, it's so universally beautiful. And um, I don't have a lot of color in my skin, but it still pulls subtle enough that it gives me a little bit of color. So I'm going to take it, I'm going to use it to just kind of buff the blush a little bit. So I'm just going to keep dusting onto the apples of my cheek. Okay. Well, that's better. It doesn't look quite as dramatic. So what we're going to do next is I'm going to take my foundation brush. This is something I like to do, and I'm just going to soften the edge of the color. Watch that hairline a little bit. Next is, oh look, and you can wear green eyeshadow on your nose, apparently. How 
I get there. Let's move on to lipstick and we're almost done. And I thank you guys for spending time with me today. I think these videos are so much fun. I have no idea if you enjoy them, but I really do. I love sharing with people and literally if you could pay me to talk, I could be a bazillionaire because I just love to talk about my experiences and I love to have people talk to me about theirs. So thanks for joining me, all three of you, mom, friends, tell your friends. So I have a lipstick in Brazilian nude. I'm going to put this on directly without a lip liner because for me I have on a bright blush and I have on a more intense color eye so I want my lips to just be a complement to it they don't need to stand out this is a beautiful nude it's on the more orangey brown side so it adds a little bit of color it's creamy so it's not drying so there it is and this is my completed look for our Estee Lauder Victoria Beckham collab. So, I started my look with this Morning Aura Illuminating Cream by Victoria Beckham. The packaging is phenomenal. It's just an easy pump. I think one to two pumps is all you need. I think I'm going to use this on Tab strategically. He likes a more matte center of his face, and so this will be good on the higher planes of his face. I also used a new product for me, which is the Estee Edit. This is a pore vanishing stick, and I used it, and you can see that I'm less shiny in through here. That's where I put it, and it's actually really easy to use. It's kind of like a chapstick form. I also used on my eyes Victoria Beckham's eyeshadow palette, and I used Blonde Cumin, Metal Saffron, Burnished Sage, and then I used the Black Nutmeg as my eyeliner. And then as a highlighter, again, I cannot tell you how much this highlighter is a life changer in terms of the color. It's so versatile in different skin tones. The texture is smooth. There's no glitter in it. It's just a beautiful glow. It's a rose gold, absolutely stunning. And like I said, the packaging is nice and solid. The mirror is a good size, so it's great to carry in your purse. And I used this lipstick, Brazilian Nude. Very versatile nude. It's hard to find the perfect nude, and sometime maybe we can have a discussion about nude lipsticks and why it's so hard to find. Then I used this blush called Notte. Naughty blush. Last but not least, I have this gorgeous nail polish called Bamboo White by Victoria Beckham Nails Ink, and this is a really great polish. It only took two coats to get the opacity, and sometimes with white polishes they have a streakiness, but not this one. Second coat, solid and then I just put a top coat on it and it has worn really, really well for me. So I want to thank you guys so much for joining me today and maybe I'll give Birdie a shout out and have her watch my video. I thought it might be kind of fun for her to know that I thought of her this week after I met her. Anyway, it was a pleasure. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Thanks for sitting with me, spending time with me. I would love to have you subscribe to my channel. Give me a thumbs up, leave me some comments, anything that you want to talk about, anything that you want to see me do, I would love to share that with you. And thank you so much to Estee Lauder and Victoria Beckham for putting out products that are so fantastic. I've enjoyed getting to know those products in the last couple of weeks. And again, it's been my pleasure. I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Have a great day. Bye. Welcome back. It's Get Ready with Gina. And today, or no, that's not it. That's what it's called. Oh. It's Get ready with Gina. What a blonde. Okay, blonde take two. Okay, hi. Welcome to the 80s. My blush is on point. Girl. Excuse me.